Welcome to me reading Evernight by Ross Mackenzie. Um, we start this term on the 26th chapter, which is called The Second Rescue. Lara did not want to give the watching crowd the satisfaction of seeing her cry. So she closed her eyes as the coppers roughly bound her hands behind her back, the metal cuffs jamming into her flesh. The coppers led her, pushing and jostling, through the streets where crowds were gathering. Insults and curses rained down on her, making her wince. Other things fell on her too. Rotten food, handfuls of muck from the street, even the steaming contents of a pure collector's bucket. Her hands were bound, so she couldn't protect her face, and the muck caked her nose and mouth, reeking making her gag. She was surrounded by people on all sides, yet she had never been so alone. Lara knew they'd marched her to the cells and lock her up. She'd be tried as a hag, of course, and what chance would she have? A girl from the streets. A tosher. Old hands would probably testify and most of the people on the street would make up stories and swear they'd seen Lara do magic because even a mere mention of the word hag got their blood boiling these days, thanks to Mrs Hester and the King. Who'd believe Lara's word against all of them? Nobody, she bet. Nobody at all. So it would be off to Reaper Square, to the gallows. Lara's tears mixed with the muck. It was in her hair and her eyes, and she could barely see. Suddenly, a sound like thunder shook the street. And before she knew what was happening, Lara's eyes were blinded by black smoke. She was in the centre of a cloud of screams and confused yells and copper's whistles. Somebody barged into her, knocking her to the ground. The crowd was stampeding now, driven by blind fear, and they trod on her, on her hair and her arms and legs, on her stomach, winding her. Rough hands dragged her up, and she felt herself being thrown over somebody's shoulder, carried through the smoke and screams and confusion. The last thing she thought, before she passed out, was that the person who was carrying her, whoever that might be, had changed direction. They were heading away from the jailhouse, weren't they? But she could not be sure, and soon the darkness wrapped around her and took her away. <laughs>